And now, now to present the music awards, we have a man who was born backstage in a Chicago theater. The first sound he heard was a 30-piece pit band. And at 13 months, he was on stage with his mother and brother doing the black bottom. At three, he was tap dancing. By the time he was four, he was doing a single. And so tonight, at the age of 26, we bring you that grand old man of musical comedy who from birth has known what the score is, Mr. Donald O'Connor. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's the nicest word I've ever had. Thank you. A little heavy. You're carried away. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present those nominated for the best scoring of a musical picture. And they are Alice in Wonderland, Walt Disney Productions, RKO Radio, Oliver Wallace, An American in Paris, and um, hello. <laughs> An American in Paris, Metro Goldwyn Mayer, Johnny Green, and Saul Chaplin. The Great Caruso, Metro Goldwyn Mayer, Peter Herman, Adler, and Johnny Green, again. <laughs> On the Riviera, 20th Century Fox, Alfred Newman, and Showboat, Metro Goldwyn Mayer. Adolf Deutsch and Conrad <laughs> Salinger. Uh, the envelope, please. Thank you. That's cool. <laughs> The winners are Johnny Green and Saul Chaplin for an American in Paris. Johnny Green has relinquished the baton. The orchestra is under its own steam at the moment as he proudly accompanies Saul Chaplin on stage for the award for the scoring of an American in Paris. It's the first nomination for Saul Chaplin. Johnny won an award in 1948 for Easter Parade. That's our, oh, yes. <laughs> Saul Chaplin. I, thank you very much. I'm not going to let him get away with it. We couldn't have done it without Sully. Obviously, the gracious voice was that of Johnny Green. Now Donald O'Connor goes back to the podium. And also to continue, ladies and gentlemen, you're still with us, aren't you? <laughs> Those nominated for the best scoring of a dramatic or comedy picture. And they are David and Bathsheba, 20th Century Fox, Alfred Newman, Death of a Salesman, The Stanley Kramer Company, Columbia, Alex North. A Place in the Sun, Paramount, Frank's, Franz, excuse me, Franz, Waxman. Quo Vadis, Metro Goldwyn Mayer, Nicholas Rosa, and A Streetcar Named Desire, Charles K. Feldman Group Productions, Warner Brothers. Alex North? <laughs> That's part of the group, I'm sorry. <laughs> the envelope, please. I love doing this. <laughs> the winner is Franz Waxman for A Place in the Sun. Mr. Waxman is making the long walk down the aisle to the stage, busy and brightly. The picture is a place in the sun. Mr. Waxman has received an award for Sunset Boulevard in 1950 and seven previous nominations. He's the founder of the Los Angeles Music Festival. Thank you very much. I'm deeply grateful for the honor. Thank you. These winners are really most profoundly moved. Oh, we got a lot more here. Now, where was I? Oh, here we are. Now, those nominated for the best songs are in the cool, cool, cool of the evening. From Here Comes the Groom in Paramount. Music by Hoagie Carmichael and lyrics by Johnny Mercer. A Kiss to Build a Dream On from The Strip. I thought Keith Alver put those all away, but they're still here. <laughs> Metro Goldwyn Mayer. Lyrics and music by Bert Kalman, Harry Ruby, and Oscar Hammerstein II. Never from Golden Girl, 20th, 20th Century Fox. Music by Lionel Newman and lyrics by Elliot Daniel. Too Late Now from Royal Wedding, Metro Goldwyn Mayer. Music by Burton Lane and lyrics by Alan J. Lerner. And Wonder Why from Rich, Young and Pretty, Metro Goldwyn Mayer. Music by Nicholas Brodsky and lyrics by Sammy Kahn. May I? Thank you, sir. The winners are Hoagie Carmichael and Johnny Mercer for the cool, cool, cool of the evening. Well, it's a warm, pleasant evening for both Hoagie Carmichael and Johnny Mercer. The spotlight is picking them up, and here they come down the aisle together. They are old, noted composers, Hoagie, Buttermilk Sky, Stardust, 
Johnny Mercer got the award in 1946 for On the Ashes in Topeka and the Santa Fe, and we'll see now just who's going to speak first. Mercer has his Oscar, Carmichael has his, and they're both at the mic. Uh, on behalf of uh, Johnny, this wonderful collaborator, I want to thank uh, Bing and Janie and all the people in the music department of Paramount for the wonderful way that the song was presented. That includes the producer, too, I know. And it was a thrill to see it performed in the picture. It's things like that that make songs. And I know we're both very ha uh, thankful. And uh, I'm very proud to be holding this, believe me, because I was runner-up to this fellow once before. He's a great writer. Say a word, say. Same, uh, the same goes for Little Sir Echo. Thank you. <laughs> Little Sir Echo being Johnny Mercer. Took it, like Ogie took it, and held on. <laughs> I mean the Oscar as well as the microphone. They made a mistake, I think, on the program. Uh, as I remember, former presentations, the name is Hugo. <laughs> I thought he was coming back to tell me how well I sang the song. <laughs> I'm going to let Crosby sing for himself from now on. 